what really came out was the absolute importance of the content. And we could be talking about new and very clever ways of uh, actually transmitting this content. But unless the content itself was good, uh, it wasn't going to help. But the team, the panel took two rather different views about this. Uh, Lucien Seb, uh, the director, the editorial director of Euronews, uh, was insistent that he, while he would do a regular program, which he does about educational initiatives of all kinds, for him, the news was really the most important thing that could be done for education. Whereas uh, uh, the, the BBC spokesman, Lillian Landau, uh, was excited by the thought of not just the news, which of course the BBC and its World Services does a lot of, but the new technologies too. And she spoke, for example, of the initiative in uh, Bangladesh where people are able to get three-minute English language lessons on their mobile phones for the, the cost of half of one pence a minute. And she felt that this gave new power, really, to the content. If you've got the content, uh, this gave it not just more reach, but extra power. The panel, I think, recognised at the moment, and perhaps forever, good quality educational programmes, or, or programmes that did education in new ways or contributed to education, were not paying for themselves. They were not profitable. And uh, you had to find different strategies to pay for them. Uh, and certainly the Russian who, who, uh, who spoke to us was... Uh, really very worried that they weren't going to develop the new technologies for education in Russia simply because there was no control over intellectual property. People who were develop why develop the technologies for video games or with a social message or purpose or educational message if your property was stolen from you? Thank you.